Hey guys, it is a beautiful day here in Estacada, Oregon. As you know, almost exactly two years ago we had a wildfire come through our area and I've been milling up some of those burnt logs from my property over the last couple of years. Today behind me I have four logs that my friend Dustin's dad brought me from his property up at Detroit Lake where at the same time we were having our fires a massive fire ripped through the Detroit Lake area and it wiped out a cabin that his dad had on his property along with a bunch of timber which he has salvaged and he's now rebuilding his cabin behind me are four burned logs from his property that i'm going to cut into full dimension 2x12s this lumber is going to end up being graded and used in his new cabin now these four logs are averaging 15 to almost 20 inches in diameter my goal is to get as many full dimension 2x12s as i can uh, he doesn't mind if there's a little weighing on some of them, so I'm just going to do my best to size these logs up and get as much out of them as I can. Get that smoker tried out. Yeah. If you want to make your own brine, let it sit in there like in the refrigerator for four or five hours or else overnight. Yeah. Then get them out, pat them dry, put them in the smoker. All right. Well, I'm right in the middle of sawing some logs. Yeah, I'm going to put these yeah. down in the fridge and, and get some I brine think put together. 12 or something like that in there. Nice. 10 or 12. Those are good looking. You guys finally got back on them, huh? Well, yeah, the day after they stopped. Oh. Well, my neighbor Mel stopped by with some trout that he caught the other day and uh, offered it up for me to try out my smoker that was given to me about a year ago. So I ran and put those on brine real quick and let's get back to milling.
Well, it's too big to be a nail, it looks like, and it, it seems too hard to have been a bullet. So I'm going to dig this thing out and try and figure out what I've hit, but it has uh, ruined that blade for sure. Oh, you kidding me? Another quarter inch down, and I would have missed that altogether. Looks like the head of a spike. Unbelievable. Well, I will put a new blade on and hope that that's the only one in there. Okay, well, I've got the blade replaced. The log rolled 180. Let's hope that that's it for the metal. Well, this stuff is looking pretty darn good so far. I don't think he's gonna have any trouble getting it to grade out. Nice, tight, small knots. This is awesome lumber.
Now this last log here is the largest diameter, but it's got a pretty good arch to it. I'm going to just try and work around that and get the most lumber out of it that I can. Well, we ended up with 21 boards, but two of them have quite a bit of weight on them. Uh, so I think he's got 19 usable boards here. I just gave him a call and he's not sure he's got enough. He might be bringing me some more logs. We'll find out here in a little bit. Maybe I'll saw some more and maybe this will do it. Well, that ended up doing it for his order and that is going to do it for this video as well. I appreciate you guys watching. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have a video up next weekend. I'm turning 50 next week. We are going to head down to our place on the Oregon coast and spend several days fishing, riding in the sand, and hanging out with some friends. So if I don't have a video next week, we'll see you in two weeks. Don't go anywhere. I've got some cool stuff coming up. I got a brand new drone and I've got some other news that you might find interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.